Human Body Systems. Today we will be learning about reproduction and the reproductive system. Now there are two types of reproduction, asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is the formation of a new organism from just one parent. Advantages of asexual reproduction would be that no energy is needed to find a mate and a high chance of survival of the offspring exists. Disadvantages of asexual reproduction is that the offspring looks exactly like the parent and there is less chance of survival in a changing environment. Examples of organisms that reproduce asexually are bacteria, yeast, hydras, and sponges. It is now time to create your notes. If you will turn to the next clean page and we will start with asexual reproduction up at the top of the page if you could write that in. At any time during this video, if you need extra time, please press pause and then you can always press play again when you're ready to move on. So your entry that you will write today is asexual reproduction, a new organism from one parent, advantages, no energy to find mate, high survival, disadvantages, exactly like parent, less chance of survival, examples, bacteria and yeast. The human reproductive system. Sexual reproduction. This is the formation of a new organism from two parents. Advantages are greater genetic variation of characteristics and a greater chance of survival in different and changing environments. Disadvantages would be energy is needed to find a mate. You will now make a notes entry. Sexual reproduction, new organism from two parents. Advantages, genetic variation, greater chance of survival. Disadvantages, energy used to find a mate. Please press pause if you need extra time for writing. You can always press play when you're ready to move on. Now the main function of the reproductive system is the continuation and propagation of the species. That is to ensure survival of the species. For your notes entry, you will write the main function of the reproductive system is to ensure survival of the species. Now the main organs of the reproductive system are the testes, ovaries, fallopian tubes, scrotum, penis, uterus, vagina, Specialized cells of the reproductive system are the sperm and eggs. For your notes entry, write main organs of the reproductive system on the top of your page. You will list out testes, ovaries, uterus, fallopian tubes, penis, scrotum, vagina. The specialized cells of the reproductive system are sperm and eggs. Feel free to press pause if you need extra time. Now the male reproductive system. The scrotum is where the testes are stored outside the body at a lower temperature of 98.6 degrees. Testes in males produce sperm. The testes are the main organs of the male reproductive system that produce testosterone, the male sex hormone. Testosterone causes male characteristics to develop, such as facial hair and a deep voice. Hormones. Remember, um, we learned about hormones from the endocrine system. Hormones are chemical messengers that control many important body functions, such as growth, development, and sex cell production. For your notes entry, you will write the scrotum is where the testes are stored. Testes in males produce sperm. Testes are the main organs of the male reproductive system. Testosterone, the male sex hormone. Hormones are chemical messengers that control many important body functions, growth, development, and sex cell production. The male reproductive system continued. The penis is the organ that delivers semen into the female reproductive system. To leave the body, the semen passes through the urethra, the tube that runs through the penis. Sperm is released from the penis. 
for your notes entry, you will write down penis is the organ that delivers semen into the female reproductive system. Now the female reproductive system produces the sex hormones estrogen and progesterone. These hormones control the development of female characteristics, such as breast and wider hips. They also regulate the development and release of eggs, and they prepare the body for pregnancy. For your notes entry, you will write down the female reproductive system produces the sex hormones, estrogen, and progesterone. The female reproductive system continued. The ovary is the reproductive organ that produces eggs. You have two ovaries. At sexual maturity, females have hundreds of thousands of immature eggs in their ovaries. During a female's lifetime, usually about 400 of her eggs will mature and be released from the ovaries. The ovaries in females produce eggs. For your notes entry, you will write down ovary, the reproductive organ that produces eggs, and the ovaries in females produce eggs. The female reproductive system continued. Eggs are released during the menstrual cycle, which takes about one month. About halfway through the cycle, an egg is released from the ovary. The egg then travels down the fallopian tubes, a pair of tubes that connect each ovary to the uterus. For your entry in your notes, please write down eggs are released during the menstrual cycle, released from the ovaries down the fallopian tubes to the uterus. Please press pause if you need extra time. The female reproductive system continued. Now the uterus is the organ in which a fertilized egg develops into a baby. If an egg is not fertilized, it is shed with the lining of the uterus in the process called menstruation. The baby or lining of the uterus exit the body through the vagina. For your notes entry, you will write uterus, the organ in which a fertilized egg develops into a baby. If the egg is not fertilized, it leaves the body in menstruation. The female reproductive system continued. The female reproductive system produces hormones in eggs and provides a place to nourish a developing human. Like sperm, egg cells have 23 chromosomes, only half the number of other body cells. For your notes entry, you will write like sperm, egg cells have 23 chromosomes, only half the number of other body cells. Fertilization. The vagina is where the sperm enters before reaching the uterus. The fallopian tubes are where the eggs travel through to reach the uterus. Sperm is released and fertilizes the egg. If the egg is fertilized, it will attach to the uterus wall. A fertilized egg may develop into a zygote. For your notes entry, you will write, if the egg is fertilized, it will attach to the uterus wall. A fertilized egg may develop into a zygote. A zygote is a fertilized egg cell that results from the union of a female gamete, which is your egg or ovum, with a male gamete, which is a sperm. Gametes are sex cells. The zygote develops in the uterus, creating a new organism with a com combination of genetic material from both parents. For your notes entry, you will write zygote, a fertilized egg cell from the union of a female gamete egg with a male gamete sperm. The zygote develops in the uterus with genetic material from both parents. Once cell division occurs, the fertilized egg becomes an embryo. Genetic material from the father and the mother combine and a unique individual begins to develop. After fertilization, the embryo travels from the fallopian tube to the uterus and attaches to the nutrient-rich lining of the uterus. For your notes entry, cell division occurs, the fertilized egg becomes an embryo. After fertilization, the embryo travels from the fallopian tube to the uterus and attaches to the nutrient-rich lining of the uterus. Please press pause if you need extra time.
You can press play when you're ready to move on. That is the end of our notes on the reproductive system.